when you left, did you already have artists that you were working with or did you leave and say, okay, I'm just going to find some artists? Like what? I had a transition. I had a a couple of guys. I was working with this guy, Sam King, who, you know, um, and then, and Demrick. Um, and those were two guys that I believed in that, you know, uh, I, I rented a house in North Hollywood and I turned the guest house into a studio. Um, and that was sort of one of the aha moments was build it, built a studio, not really with the intention of like renting it and making money from people, but sort of like if I build this place that artists can use, it will be a place that they will want to sh- show up and come and and do things. And so I built a studio and I would message artists that I thought were cool. So like I sent Masego a DM on SoundCloud maybe six, seven years ago. I was like, hey man, I think your music's super cool if you're in LA. Uh, dude called me almost instantly. He was like, I'm in LA tomorrow. I don't have a place to stay. And I was like, well, you could crash a mine, you know? And so the house became this sort of place that a lot of artists would come through and they, you know, they'd want to use the studio and you, you know, that was a, I think that was a, a really big kind of going back to what we're talking about in terms of adding value. That was for me, that was a way that I added value to these guys saying, you guys need a place to record. You can show up in my house, bring an engineer. It's yours for the night, you know? Uh, and I come and say, Hey, and, you know, and, and be around the session for a little while, but I wouldn't linger in the session the whole time. I, you know, I'd shake hands and, you know, make the connection, but then I'd let them be and let them, you know, use the space and, Mm-hmm. Some of those relationships turned into management clients. Like that's how I'm, that's how I started managing K camp was like, you can use my studio. Uh, and then some of them are just friends, you know, Masego ended, ended up actually living in my house for a couple of years. And at one point it was like Masego and Sheck Wes and a bunch of other kids. Um, but, it, but that's how it started. It was just sort of like, you guys need something. I have a space that I can provide you. Um, and that was, that was right around the same time when, you know, when I left ICM and, kind of going out on my own and trying to figure it out. The studio is sort of the the point that, you know, sort of like the field of dreams. Like if you build it, they will come. That was definitely right. the, the energy. So nobody, so I hope people aren't listening to this to be like, man, I got to rent out a house and start inviting people to my house. Like that, there's a lot of ways to add value. Like this was the way that worked for him. Uh, I think that's a house I pulled up to. For sure. Oh, for house. sure. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I mean, I could rattle off some of the names of people that were there. Uh, It's pretty wild, some of the stuff. Nah, so, so of course, you know, what do artists need? Artists often need places to stay and a place to record. That just makes a whole lot of sense. Um, All right, so when did you start? What's next from there? Like, did did you start? So you said you met K-Camp. He came through. Okay, How did you- I was very, I was very deferential. You know, I, de- I definitely didn't think that I had the chops necessarily to manage somebody who at this point, this is 2014. So mm-hmm. camp had already just come off the sort of like the super hot, like money, baby, cut her off kind of singles. Uh, he had just moved to LA and, and it really was just me asking questions. Like, I'm like, why are you not one of the biggest artists right now? Like, why, you know, what, what's the disconnect for you? And uh, you know, for him, he was like, well, he was like, what do you think, you know? And in, in my mind, just sort of observing, I was like, well, I think your 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 music right now is bigger than the brand is right now, in my opinion. Like, people know your songs. They might not know your face. You got sunglasses on in a lot of your photos. Like, certain things like that I would call out. And he, you know, he, he would take some of that in and say, I think you're right, you know? Um, and around that same time, I got introduced to Benji and Joel Madden um, and started to, you know, interview with them and, uh brought K camp in to meet them. So to the same point of adding, adding value, I didn't just come here and say, give me a job. You know, I was like, I interviewed with them. I'm like, I love to work with you guys. You guys do similar things to what I do just on a much bigger scale. But um, also here's this guy K camp who needs a manager really talented. You guys should meet him, you know, and mm-hmm. I would just do things like that. I'd bring meetings into them and say, you know, meet, um, meet sunny digital or meet, you know, whomever that whoever was around me, I was like, check these guys out. Um, and so when, you know, when they finally were like, all right, we want to bring you into the company, me and camp kind of came together. And that was sort of like how it started. It was like, cool. You know, we'll, we'll oversee you managing K camp and kind of show you the ropes in terms of what we do. And you, you will run point and kind of, this'll be your first real client that you develop, you know?